Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit partisiablockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Europe's new digital identity wallet is coming to your pockets already next year, and we have with us today the person in charge of making sure it all works and that we can have trust in the system. Hervé Bonacci is the CEO of Archipels, a decentralized identity platform created by the French Postal Service, EDF, NG, and the Caisse de dépôt de conciliation, the French Public Investment Bank. The goal of this consortium is to offer inhabitants and companies a new generation of digital ID that will be held in a mobile phone wallet, making it easy for all of us to communicate important information in a user-friendly manner, and most importantly, at our own discretion. Welcome, Hervé. Hello, Jennifer. Hervé, why don't you tell us a little bit about the problem of digital identity theft? Yeah, in fact, on the internet today, there is no identity layer. In fact, you share your data and it's gone. I mean, you don't know where the data you're sharing on social network will go uh, in the end. So that's a big issue. We are building uh, digital identity uh, uh, technology based on blockchain that will help secure your own data. And can you tell us also about uh, personal data protection, which is, to me, a, a major subject when all of us are using the internet and we're hearing about personal data leaks, you know, on TikTok, on, on, on Gmail, Yahoo Mail? Yeah, on, on the web today, and especially on social network, you share a lot of personal data. And we don't really know where this data is going, in fact, and to which governments or whatever. So it's really... Uh, 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 an issue, and we need to change that. And that's why uh, we believe that Web3 and blockchain technology can help uh, to give back ownership of personal data to people. Today, there are more than 46% of enterprises who have been victims of uh, internet fraud. How will blockchain change this? Yeah, blockchain technology can help to secure documents, for example, to make it tamper-proof. Um, so, uh, blockchain is really uh, uh, an infrastructure, a technology uh, that will help to secure documents, secure data, and secure all uh, um, exchanges between companies, between uh, citizens and companies. Your company, Archipels, was created by four of the four of some of the largest French companies to do what exactly? Yeah, in fact, we're building a blockchain infrastructure in France and then in Europe to handle uh, this uh, uh, problem about uh, fraud and uh, uh, identity. So we're building a decentralized identity platform. So this new digital identity project will start being rolled out already next year. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the European digital wallet? Yeah, in fact, the European Commission's want to deploy uh, a wallet for all European citizens uh, next year or, or the year after. In fact, next year there will be uh, pilots, uh, experimentations. And the European Commission wants that um, in uh, 2030, 80% uh, of uh, European citizens uh, will have the, this uh, I digital identity wallet. Today, there are more than 1 billion people on planet Earth who have no way of proving their identity, leading to not being able to get bank loans, not being able to get health services. Um, what motivates you so much about this large project that you're leading? Digital identity is a, is a great use case of blockchain technology. And it, and, and it will bring inclusion to, to, to people. Uh, for example, in Africa, blockchain already brings uh, uh, banking inclusion and access to services. The, the digital, the identity part of it is important. So that's why uh, digital identity on blockchain uh, it, it will be a major technology tomorrow. Um, and and it's, uh, it's, it's growing, so that's a, an incredible uh, um, a sector uh, to, to, to build on. Thank you so much, Hervé Bonazzi. Thank you for decrypting our future of digital identity on blockchain. See you next week when we'll discover what's to come at the world's largest museum in the world, the Louvre, to promote the blockchain industry. Bye, everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.